Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my very first vlog for Lakpegram, the Pinoy Travel Scope. Alright you guys, so let's talk about staycation. Some of you, siguro natatakot pa kayo mag-travel kasi, you know, pandemic, COVID is still there and would probably opt to do a staycation to celebrate something, maybe birthday or a special occasion. Yeah, also there's a lot of requirements for travel, so it can be difficult to travel, even domestic. I'm going to share my experience on staycation, step-by-step -step process, ano bang dapat malaman, ano bang dapat gawin. Because when I was trying to organize or book a staycation, I also had a hard time. I'm going to share my experience so you don't have to do an extensive research about staycation. Let's go ahead and start. Alright, so the first thing that you have to remember is the antigen test. It's a requirement if you're going to do a staycation. We went to Keralty Clinic. It's located in Festival Mall. I'm going to add the link to their clinic. This is not sponsored. We figured kasi mas mura yung kanila. Their rates are economical. And mabilis lang dumabas yung result. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is go to the Keralty Clinic and then book your appointment. So you have to go to plans and deals and COVID stuff and then book an appointment. Um, on that page, you will be given three options. So there's RT-PCR tests, there's antigen tests, and antibodies tests. Um, you would have to select the antigen test because that's a requirement for the hotel. RT-PCR test is for when you want to fly domestically, yan yung requirement. You don't need that for now because um, you're just going to do a staycation. Um, you would have to select the antigen test, select a date and a schedule that works for you, and then you will be receiving an email confirmation. Now, at Carroty Clinic, I checked the rate. It costs us 1700 for the tests alone, and we were able to get the result in 30 minutes after the swab test. Now, on the day of your test, you would need to bring an ID with your address. Nakalagay dapat sa ID yung address nyo. Your own pen, of course, and yung appointment mo. Pwede mong i-present yung appointment na receive mo via email. Okay, so what happens during the day of your tests? We went to Festival Mall early in the morning. Make sure that you are on time. And then you would have to present your appointment. You would have to wait in the lobby. Somebody will reach out to you and measure temperature. That's the first thing that they are going to do. And then after that, you would have to wait for your name to be called. Once na tinawag na yung pangalan mo, they are going to do the swab test. Question, anong feeling ng in antigen test? It can be uncomfortable. Doesn't hurt. It's not painful. But it's very uncomfortable. Kasi parang ipapasok talaga siya sa nasa passage mo. And then after that, you are going to wait for 30 minutes for your test to be released. There's a room na paghihintayan mo. Whether it's positive or negative. It will indicate if your test is you know, positive or negative. Yeah, that's it. As simple as that. Now, let's go to the hotel. On the day of your check-in, you should be able to present a negative result of your antigen test on the day of your check-in. It should be conducted on the same exact date. So, kung anong araw ka mag-check-in, yun din dapat yung date na lumabas yung result. Then mo rin dapat siya kukunin. Question, can it be within 24 hours? Pwede ko ba siyang kunin after and before and then mag-check in ako ng umaga the day after? No, hindi yun pwede. So we asked that question as well. They're not allowing it. It has to be conducted on the day of check-in. Sa mismong araw. It has to be on the same exact date. Alright, so we are currently having a staycation here at Shangri-La the Fort. So, so upon arrival, we would have to fill out or scan the QR code. Katulad ng ginagawa sa mga malls and stuff. And fill out a form online. Medyo maraming questionnaire. It would take a couple of minutes for you to complete it. It will also ask you kung anong test yung tinate mo and what. Now, once done filling out the form online, you will be receiving 
an email confirmation that's how it goes here other hotels may have a different you know process but here at Shangri-La you will need to scan the QR code and then you will be receiving an email once you completed the uh, health declaration form that's what I call it that email that you will be receiving there's a QR code so they will just scan it it's easier that way yung QR code that you can present present every single time na papasok ka sa siyang. for example we want to go out buy stuff do shopping pagbalik mo you can just present the same QR code and you're good to go you don't need to fill out the health declaration every single time which is i think very efficient so pag check in sa counter the usual of course the negative result of your antigen so nor normal lang yung check-in process there are just you know additional requirements but other than that it's a normal check-in also don't forget to bring your um, face mask and face shield requirement yan kahit sang kadito magpunta sa loob ng siyang you are required to wear a face mask and a face shield rooms here are sanitized when we check in merong complimentary na health kit so this is what it looks like so it has face masks alcohol and this is hygiene cleansing wipes so that's what they have in their kit now every time you go out you need to wear a face mask and a face shield if you're, you're going to a restaurant gym pool whatnot amenities you need to wear a face shield and a face mask. That's a requirement. All right, so upon checking, they gave us this form. There's a QR code. Now, when you scan the QR code, sorry, but it did. When you scan the QR code, it will direct you to a page where you can book your room service, kung kailan nila lilinisin yung room nyo, kung kailan nila serve yung food nyo, spa, although the spa is still not open. If you want to go to the gym, you would have to book an appointment. If you would like your room cleaned, you would need to book an appointment. Kung gusto mong gumamit ng swimming pool, it's open, but you need to book an appointment. All right, so let's talk about the hotel amenities. So first is the pool, swimming pool. Everybody wants a swimming pool. I'm not a fan of swimming pool, but I've checked the schedules. And when I arrived here Saturday, so we booked three days and two nights, both Monday and Tuesday are already fully booked. So suggestion, because I know if you would like to use the pool, make sure to check it ahead of time, book it ahead of time. Kasi medyo maraming gusto gumamit ng pool. Next is the gym. Um, I like the gym here. They have the best gym. Shangri-La, the fort has carry sports. It's world class. So gym, you also need to book your schedule ahead of time through online. As, as what I've said earlier, you need to scan the code. It should direct you to a web page you can also book your um, gym appointments there or gym schedule so during the gym sessions or kung gagamitin mo yung gym you need to also wear your face shield and face mask during workout you can take off your face shields or we ask the reception or front desk at Gary Sports and she said when you do your cardio you can take off your face shield and face mask there are sanitizers everywhere there's a different sanitizer for the equipment Next is the restaurants. If you would like to go to the restaurants here, you would also have to wear a face shield and a face masks. Next is the breakfast. How are they serving the breakfast? So normally, pre-pandemic, they do it. They do a buffet style at High Street Cafe, na restaurant dito. But since it's pandemic and deep wedding, yung gathering or yung crowd. So what they do is they will serve your breakfast mismo sa room nyo. You would also have to book it um, through their web page. Um, again, through this QR code. Um, so, unlike before, it's not buffet style. It's mamimili ka if Filipino, American style, continental breakfast. Um, hindi siya kasing dami ng buffet style, but I think sakto lang siya. Uh, hindi naman siya parang kulang or whatever um, I think sakto lang yung serving um, so dalawang bread one na meal and then it, they will deliver it to you to your room then mainit pa yung food kasi nakalagay siya sa parang 
warmer. Hindi na compromise yung warm na food. You, you will still be able to get your food na warm. That's it. I hope marami kayo natutunan. If you have any questions or new information or if you've checked and you've done a staycation somewhere, other hotels, um, this is just my experience for Shangri-La Hotel. I don't know what it's like in other hotels. So if ever you've experienced um, having a staycation in other hotels, please comment down below, share your experience. If you have any questions, I will try to answer it as much as I can. I'm also going to do a hotel review of Shangri-La the Fort, my entire experience in Shangri-La the Fort. I'm going to create another vlog for that next week, perhaps. This vlog is just about, you know, the basics of staycation. That's it. I hope marami kayo natutunan dito sa staycation. Um, yeah. I hope you'll enjoy your staycation. Until next time, see you guys. Adios.